Hey everyone, welcome back to Handmade. I'm AV and I wanna tell you guys about this curb find. See this lovely terracotta pot? It was found right on the street. I am going to make it a galaxy painting. Now the galaxy stuff is like all the rage right now, astrology, I'm a Cancer. And we are going to get into this right now. All you need for this project is a terracotta pot, foam brush, a flat brush, palette, and array of colors. To get started, we're gonna just start painting this black. And you wanna make sure your terracotta pot is clean. You're gonna do long, thin layers. You don't wanna glob it on because it adds extra texture that you really don't need. Because who wants like a thick galaxy? Like, it's already vast enough. Long strokes, happy long strokes. Now you don't have to paint inside of the pot, but just the brim here, you know, keeps it all like uniform. As you can see, this is on pretty good, but we're gonna give it one more coat. We're gonna let this dry for about five minutes. Then we're gonna go in and paint it again. Now that your pot is dry, you want to start adding elements of the galaxy. With the foam brush, I kind of use my scissors to add a couple of grooves into it, just so it's not like a flat sponge splatter, or you can use like a regular sponge as well. Now, I'm going to take my dark purple, shake it up, shake, shake, shake. And you wanna kind of like work on the diagonal. If you feel like you have too much paint on your brush, you can kind of just dab it off in your palette or a paper towel. You wanna just get a diagonal. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now that you have your first one, I'm gonna do another one. Just like a small baby diagonal, just like that. Right, just so you have like these organic lines and shapes. Then we're gonna just do one more small one up here. This is all about layering. Now we're going to use our second color, a dark blue. And don't worry, because we're gonna come back to the purple at some point. You're gonna go on the edge of the purple that you did at first. And you can use different angles of the foam brush just to give you more texture. And you wanna make sure you're dabbing and not smudging. And you can leave some parts of the black peeking through, just like how the galaxy would look. Now I'm gonna use the metallic blue. This gives it the razzle dazzle. And just dab it in the center of all of that. That gives it that nice ribbon in the night sky. Flatten it, dab. Flatten it. You can kind of have the metallic going off on its own a little bit. You know, it's rogue. The galaxy doesn't follow rules. Now, I'm going to add some fuchsia. You don't have to let it dry in between because ideally we want to blend the colors together. So you have the fuchsia, and you flatten it, dab. Did you see the fuchsia was brighter, but now it's like a little bit more purple, like the galaxy. You don't wanna add too many colors because then it looks more like a rainbow. So don't add yellow or anything like that. Keep it to these colors. Also, you can have some parts of your pot that has more of the galaxy, and the back can have less because it gives it more dimension. Now, we're going to add turquoise. And just dab it there, and you see it gives it that real pop of color. So you wanna start using this sparingly, and then you can add more as you continue. And you wanna keep it on the outside of your other lines. We're gonna go over this with the metallic blue to make sure that pops, because that's my favorite part. Now we're gonna let this dry a little bit and we're gonna add our stars. You need a cup of water, a paintbrush, and some white acrylic paint. You wanna make sure your brush is a little damp, not too much. Dip it in. You're gonna take your brush and just, just add your stars. You can also use a toothbrush, but I prefer using this method. 
Once you've added all your stars, you can go back in with the tip of your paintbrush or the bottom and you can just add a couple of larger ones. I like using the bottom of the paintbrush just so you get a little bit more uniform sized stars. This looks great. We're gonna let this dry. You can leave it as is or you can add a coat of acrylic sealer for extra durability and shine. I love this Galaxy painting. It was so soothing and relaxing. I just wanna galaxify everything. How would you use this technique? Let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Galaxy later.